guys, welcome back to my channel. And today what I'm going to be doing is bringing you a topiary DIY made from all Dollar Tree products except a few scraps of wood that I have left over. So let me show you what you'll need in case you wanna make this project. I think it's gonna be adorable. Okay, first of all, you're gonna need four five by seven picture frames. And I got the ones that look like they have wood grain on them. They had different colors. I hope you can see this really good. Um, but it doesn't matter what kind you get as long as they're five by sevens. You need four of those. And then you're gonna need two of these certificate frames like this. This is the kind that my Dollar Tree had. Okay, you need two of these. And they are eight by 10 as well. And then you're gonna need two eight by 10 picture frames. And these will be just a little bit smaller. And the only ones that I could really find had this like little silver around the edge. So I picked those up. Then you're gonna need a glue gun. Um, and we're gonna use some paint, some chalk paint, the Waverly chalk paint in cashew. And then I'm gonna use some, um, cream wax it's the americana decor deco art cream wax and this is in deep brown okay and then you're going to need a foam brush a well-loved brush and maybe one of these little brushes like i got at walmart and then you're going to need two paint stir sticks Okay, and you're gonna cut them in half, and we'll get into that. And then you're gonna need some plywood. This is just um, 3 8 of an inch plywood, and I had my husband cut it 12 and a half by 12 and a half because I wanted a little bit of a base for the topiary. Then I have um, 1 8 of an inch plywood, and I had him cut it to go in the sides and then he just used a hole saw to make this right here and his hole saw was one and a half inches but you don't have to do this part or this part this is just something i wanted to do and then we just had some furring strips left over and i wanted little feet and he just cut these for me so um and they're one and a half by one and a half all right Alrighty, now let's, uh, what I'm going to do is go ahead and take all the um, plastic off of the picture frames and then I'll be right back. Okay, I've taken the glass out and I've showed this many times, but these little tabs, I'm going to take them out and you just need to get something that you can kind of wiggle them with, but you need to be careful because these picture frames are not that sturdy and you just wiggle it and they come right out. So as soon as I take the rest of these out and clean my frames, I'll be back. Okay, I've pulled them all out and those little clips and now I've made sure that there's no dust or anything on my frames because even though they're in those uh, protective sleeves, they still get dust on them. And I've opened up my cashew chalk paint from Waverly and I'm just going to start painting these. because I want this to have a very old look to it. Um, so I'm just gonna take it down to like a cream canvas and then I'm gonna do my own stuff to it. And I'm even painting this silver inside. So, and I don't care if some of that brown peeks out, that's okay. So I know you know what I'm doing. So for time purposes, I'll go off camera and I'll paint all my frames and paint my wood and then I'll be back. Okay guys, um, I have painted all this with that cashew chalk paint and I've painted my stir sticks, I've painted everything. Um, my bigger board is over there drying. So, and I've cleaned my glass. Now what I'm gonna do is take my Deco Art Americana um, Cream Wax and I'm just gonna put it on here in just a little few spots because I want it to look old. So let's see. I think I'm just gonna use some of this on the brush first 
and see what this will do. Okay. I'm liking that. Just sort of washing it just a little bit to give it a little bit of an older feel. And I might just take, I don't know. Just want it to look a little older. Just in spots. Make it just look a little older and a little more weathered. I don't know if you can tell, but it does make a difference. It makes it um, have a little bit more aged look to it. So I do like that. So I'm gonna go around and just put this almost like a wash in on it in spots. And then, um, but I don't wanna get too much. So after I get this put on, then I'll be back. Okay, I've decided I'm taking the larger brush and just dry brushing this. And I'm liking how it's turning out. <clears throat> so what I'm doing is just taking some of this, putting it in my plate over here, putting it in my plate in that. Then I go and just dab like this to load my brush and then dab it off because I don't want it too heavy. And then just start dry brushing it over this and it really gives it a nice old weathered effect. As you can see, I really love how that looks. So I just wanted to show you that and then I'll be back in just a minute. Okay, what we're gonna do now is start to put our glass back in. All right, and these. And all you do to do that is just, it's really simple, make sure you clean your glass first, is just put some glue down in here where your glass sits, right down in here. It's really easy, and you don't wanna put a whole lot, but you do wanna get enough so it will hold. and not fall out on you. Okay. So then all you gotta do is just pop your glass down in there. And then I think I might just put a little bit of glue right on the corner, just to hold it a little bit more secure. Normally I don't do that, but since this is so big, I think that's what I'm gonna do. And then just set this aside to dry and go on to your next one. And then your glass is in there. So I'm for time purposes, what I'm gonna do is go around and put all my glass back in and then I'll be right okay, back. Now what we're gonna do is just make like we do our lanterns basically. Um, and I'm just taking the picture frame that had the silver on it that I painted over and putting it inside the two um, certificate frames. I'm budding it actually up inside these. So let me go ahead and put the glue on this. Now 
I'm just gonna put some glue right down through here. And then all I'm gonna do is butt this up against each other. Make sure that it's flush, okay? Because it will affect how square our finished project is. All right, then all I'm gonna do is, is go ahead, I'm gonna put this one on the inside here, right here, the same picture frame again, not the certificate frame, but the picture frame. And I'm gonna butt it up right inside here as well, on the inside, I hope you can see that. I'm putting this side right here on the inside of this frame. So I'm just gonna put some more glue right down through here. This couldn't be any easier, but it's gonna be a really cute farmhouse um, like terrarium or a shabby chic ter terrarium. It's gonna be really pretty. Okay, and we just wanna make sure And then what we're gonna do is take this one and just glue, finish the box by putting this on right here. It's so easy. So I'm gonna go ahead and put glue down this side and this side. And there's so many different ways you can do this. This is just how I came up with doing it. I actually saw uh, one that looks a lot like this and I'll put the picture at the end um, of the video from Pottery Barn and I saw it and I loved it and that's why um, I made it like I did and like I said you have to really be careful that you don't get your bottom off like I almost did because this glue dries very quickly okay now we have this pretty little box that the front, this is where the certificate frame is, right here, and then this is where the picture frame was, all right? Now your certificate frame is gonna be your larger side. Let me put this up just a little bit more. Okay, so what we're going to do right now is we're gonna take our little five by sevens and we're gonna glue them together as well. So I'm gonna move this out of the way. We're just gonna take these five by sevens and glue them together. And I wanna make sure I get them like I wanted them. Because we're just gonna make a little top out of these. So what I'm doing is I'm just gluing right down through here, gluing these two sets of picture frames together. This is so easy, but it gives such a pretty look. Okay. And just Put it together and then just lay it down. And you could put some tape on it if you wanted to help glue. Okay, and then we're gonna glue these two together the same way. Just stick them together like that and push them. Okay, and then this is what this gives you like that, okay? Now what we're going to do is we're gonna take this longest side right here and take this um, plywood that my husband cut me and he just cut it with a razor knife and it's just one, in, one eighth inch plywood. And I really, depending on how your frame goes, that's gonna be how you cut yours to fill in your gap that we're gonna have. So I really, you know, it just depends on what, how your frames work out because some of these frames are, it's kind of hard to find some of them. Okay, and um, now for this hole, he used a one and a fourth inch hole saw to make this hole, okay? So what I'm gonna do is just put some glue right here. But like I said, this is based on the one that I saw on Pottery Barn. There's so many different ways to do that and you don't have to do this step right here. This is totally optional. You do not have to do it. But I wanted to do it. Okay? It's <laughs> so cute. 
All right, now we're gonna flip this over and you could use E6000 or whatever you wanted to do. And we're gonna do the same principle back here because we're gonna have something to set our little um, terrarium top on by doing this. And it matched exactly how um, the one that I saw on um, Pottery Barn's website, but it was, I think, over $300. I was like, oh, it's pretty, but mm -mm, not spending that kind of money. All right, and then that's what we have. Okay, guys, I messed up. Um, I originally glued it like this, and I wasn't supposed to. I was supposed to glue these five by seven side by side. So I had to get them loose and it kind of messed this bottom one up, but I think it'll be all right. I don't think it'll be that noticeable. So what you want to do is put it along the side of the five by seven, because when I went to put it on top, I noticed, uh oh, it's not right. And this glue does hold. All right, so. All right, you're just gonna hook them together like that and pull them in together tight, and that's what you have. And I don't think it's gonna affect it at all. I think it's gonna be fine. Okay, and then we're just gonna put these two together just like this and squeeze them together here in the center and set them aside to dry and I, it's going to be fine i don't think it's going to be any big deal it would have looked a little cleaner the other way but it's still going to be fine so while this is drying i think i'm going to go to this one so what you do next let me put this up. It's really not hard as I just got totally, I don't know where my brain was. Now we're just gonna set this right here and it'll give it a little bit of overhang. And I'll go back and try to clean this glue up better later. Okay, so what we're gonna do is I'm, now you might wanna use E6000 or something like that, but I'm just gonna use hot glue because like I said, I think this hot glue will hold it enough for me um, I had a horrible time getting the other off, but I would recommend E6000. It is glass or the fix-all adhesive from the Dollar Tree because you don't want anybody to get cut. Okay, so all we're going to do is just line this up like that and just push in on it. And this kind of just looks more weathered, so it really isn't gonna bother me. That worked out nicely. And then all we're gonna do is butt this one right over top of that one, and that hid that little uh-oh, okay? Okay, so. what I'm gonna do next is just put some glue right across through here. And I wanted to tell everyone that my foot is doing much better don't worry about it. I appreciate your prayers. Um, I can use all the prayers that I can get, but it is getting much, much better, or I wouldn't be doing this like this. Okay, then we're, what we're going to do is just butt this one up against this one and just hold it. And you could always go on there on the inside and give it an extra little seam, matter of fact, of glue right inside of it. I'm making mine so my top doesn't come off. I'm just gonna lift the whole thing up. But this is how I decided to do mine. Now, let me start cleaning some of my little, um, Okay, I think that is adorable so far. So now what I'm going to do is get this base so that I can put stuff in it and pick it up much easier. Okay. But what I'm going to do next is 
I wanted to have some like a pane of like a glass in between this. So I had my husband cut me. Um, actually, I think that these are two paint stir sticks and they're just cut in half. Um, so all you gotta do now is just take your little paint stir stick and just put a little bit of paint, I mean a little bit of glue right down through here and try to eyeball this and get it in the center as best you can. You could always measure it. I think I may have gotten mine off a little bit, but that's fine. And then back here in the back, this one goes right here in the back because two of them are longer than the other ones. And just put you some glue right down through here but I think this is adorable okay and then I wanted some right here on this side and they're going to fit right inside there so it's the smaller ones Once again, just put them in there. And this base just helps it swirl around a lot better, but I think this is adorable. And after seeing my little boo-boos, you can just do yours better. Okay, now I'm just gonna pick this up and set this off. And I had him make me little feet too because I wanted it to be, I don't know, a pretty, just really pretty. So what we're doing is we're gonna set this, and we'll flip this over. You can see it's just raw wood. And I'm gonna put this, glue this on the bottom. Let me flip this back down. I'm just going to glue them on the corners, but I want it to be pretty what's facing out. And it will help it stand up a little bit more. But like I said, you could always use the fix all adhesive and you wouldn't even have to go to all this problem. And it's really not a problem, but I mean, you wouldn't have to go to all this if you didn't want to do it. You could just make your little um, thing and leave it as that. Okay, now we have some really cute little feet to let it stand up on. And all I have to do is just put that back on there. And get it kind of fixed so it's even. And here it is. So I'm gonna go ahead and decorate it off camera and then let you see. Okay guys, here it is. I really love how it turned out. It looks so pretty. I just took some Dollar Tree um, greenery and put in there, and I think it turned out gorgeous. But you can see, here it is on the side. And I did go ahead and paint the inside right in here. Um, it was bothering me, so I went ahead and did it. I didn't put the glaze on it, though. But I think it turned out absolutely adorable. And like I said, I'll put my inspiration for Pottery Barn Dupe in a photo um, at the end of this video and let you compare, but I think it turned out nicely. It's really pretty. I love how it turned out. And you could put um, little fairy lights in here if you wanted. You could do anything. You could put candles. I think this is very versatile, and if you would see this out, you would pay a lot of money for that. So if you enjoyed this video, please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Until next time, bye guys.